Hi, in this video, I'm going to briefly show you how to use the Read from Google Sheet step. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. First of all, I click Create a new Axiom, then I'm going to start from blank. And now I'm going to use our recommended starting point, Read Data from Google Sheet step. We've recently updated the step to include this feature. So now you can just search for your desired sheet and select it. Then you can choose the tab you want from the Google Sheet. I'm going to choose links. You can see it to the left of the screen. It's basically a series of links in column A. Now you can see a preview of the output is loaded below. We only show three rows of data as indi indicated below in this preview. That's the step pretty much set up. There are a couple of other features I can talk you through. First of all, you've got a starting cell, so you can specify the cell you want to start from, A1, B1, B2, etc. And you can specify a last cell. So you could do, in this, in this example, you could do A10. So why is that useful? Well, let's say you want to pass your data from a Google Sheet into our Interact step, which will allow you to input data into a form. Well, the Google Sheet will, in this case, trigger a loop automatically that will go through every row. In this case, it will visit each URL in the sheet. All I need to do is pass the data from the sheet into the Interact step. Now I've got a bot set up that will loop and I can add other sub-steps to interact with page elements such as clicks or enter text. That's pretty powerful. A couple of top tips. When you're building your Axiom, you may not want to loop through how many rows have I got in here? Well, well over a thousand. You, you're not going to want to loop through all those rows at once. So specify the starting cell you want. In this case, I'm gonna do A5 and then to A7. Axiom will then just loop through three rows and that allows for, basically that facilitates a shorter run so I can see if the bot is working before I do the longer run. So it's a pretty useful feature setting the fast, sorry, the first cell and the last cell. And my final tip would be that if you are going to do large operations from a Google Sheet where you're looping through many rows of data, I would recommend that you batch that data into runs. Now, look for information on our document site about batching or look for the video that's also on YouTube or on, on the page, our Academy page. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for trying and using Axiom.